12 News at 11. An arrest in the first homicide case of 2011. He's bragging to all his friends about what's going to happen. The evidence, the confession, and the alarming Facebook photos and comments. People are telling us to get away, back off, back off. A fire sparks at an Orlando theme park ride. What happened when riders started seeing and smelling smoke? And the local girl takes center stage at festivities for the new governor. CBS 12 News at 11 starts right here, right now. This is CBS 12 News at 11. It's almost too late because the media has it with the screen captures. And, of course, the sheriff's office, I'm sure, has their copies. Well, the suspect's Facebook page shows him holding guns, but he's a convicted felon who's now charged with first-degree murder in the shooting death of another local man. And the bold comments found on his Facebook page, experts say, will not help his case. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Tara Cardoso. I'm Kurt Fonger. Detectives say they have witnesses, a confession, and a weapon. Well, you can't ask for much more now, can you? Evidence against a suspect in a murder case, but the court may find his Facebook post pertinent as well. Well, here's what happened. New Year's Eve party on Sea Road in Loxahatchee. Deputies say 22-year-old Vito Gaggiano was shot and killed with a sawed-off shotgun around 4 o'clock in the morning. Today, deputies arrested another partygoer who fled the scene, 20-year-old Stephen Woodman. And CBS 12 discovered alarming Facebook comments that some experts say could end up being a part of this case in court. CBS 12's Peter Schaller reports from the jail tonight with a suspect's arrest and his Facebook history. Less than 24 hours after this house party homicide, detectives make a big arrest. Stephen Woodman is here at the Palm Beach County Jail, charged with first-degree murder, and thanks to his Facebook page, investigators are learning a lot more about the man who they say pulled the trigger. It's pretty yeah. sad. You know, someone lost their child, and someone's other child's in jail. Those two children she's talking about, the victim, 22-year-old Vito Cagliano, and the suspect, 20-year-old Stephen Woodman. CBS 12 tracked down these pictures about Vito and Steven on Facebook. But when we got to Steven's page, we found a lot more than just pictures. The kid's holding a firearm and he's talking about shooting his firearm that night. On New Year's Eve, on his wall, these comments were posted. A lot of rounds going off today. Better stay indoors, you don't want to get hot by a stray. Retired Delray Beach detective Thomas Watley knows these kind of remarks can and will likely be used against Stephen in court. They have a, a mindset of what his mindset was pre-murder. They have him in possession of a firearm pre-murder. We stopped by an address listed for Stephen's family here in Loxahatchee. Hey, folks, we were wondering if you had a comment on Stephen's arrest. Both the family and the pet goose wanted us gone. According to reports, witnesses say Stephen and a friend were firing off rounds from a sawed-off shotgun at the party. Vito's girlfriend told police she saw him fall, heard a shot, but didn't see who fired it. When deputies brought Stephen in for questioning on New Year's Day, they say he admitted to fighting with Vito and then shooting him after the party. This retired detective says a defense lawyer will likely tell Stephen to quickly take down that Facebook page. It's almost too late because the media has it with the screen captures, and of course the sheriff's office, I'm sure, has their copies. Back out here at the jail, the sheriff's office tells us they're doing background checks on Facebook all the time, but in this case, they really didn't need it because they had witnesses and a confession, and they say that's more than enough. At the Palm Beach County Jail, Peter Schaller, CBS 12 News.